intelligent knowledge interface is redefining the libraries intelligent knowledge interface or iki in short is an llm powered self organizing digital library for professionals and teams this is way more than a simple chat over your data it's an ai powered knowledge organizer where you can create organize annotate your data collections and share your knowledge within a team or organization there are various cool features with come with it for example you can upload your own pages files or personal notes you can get automatic tagging extraction from these notes and view related notes you can also have built in web search to augment external knowledge you can also annotate collections with user specified information you can chat over all your data collections no matter where they are you can also follow other users share with the rest of the team and you can have your own sort of internet corner with intelligence brought by ai another cool thing about this is that this has been using llama index for so many of its component now this is a really cool example of an ai enabled note taking interface that epitomizes a core value prop of rag or retrieval augmented generation you can just simply throw in ton of your messy unstructured data like files links notes or whatever and have the application organize and surface information for you instead of you having to do it yourself there are also lot of nice ux components to make this happen beyond a simple chat interface you can as i mentioned earlier you can do automatic extraction and summarization and you can automatically surface related data in chat and for any other existing nodes and personal annotation addition is simply a breeze and one of the good features of this now having said that let's also check out how it works go to its website which is iki.ai and i will drop the link in video description sign up with your email account and then you will be presented with this screen and you can either go with this dark mode or on the left hand side towards the bottom you can click on white mode to go with the white mode so let's uh, go with the dark mode now the interface is quite simple as you can see you can either um, search on the web and let me make it tad bit more bigger so that you'll be able to see much better now you can either search it on the web or you can have your own library and if you look at the top right you can click anything um, here and upload your pdf csv files and then chat with it so let me upload one document from my local system i have uploaded this document from oracle documentation which is a pdf file from oracle 11g it contains some sort of oracle database administration data so i will just keep it in my library but other than that as you can see on the left hand side you can have your own library you can talk with community peers and once i logged in it just automatically populated all of this data on the left hand side and then of course you can change the settings and all that stuff and the mode which i already showed you now there is also a pro version but let's uh, not go there at the moment now you can also install google chrome extension but i'm not doing it i'll just use the web version now i'm going to select both web and library okay you can select only one at the same time now i'm just going to first search with web i'll just say what is pmon in oracle database pmon is a process monitor uh, in the is a background process in oracle so i'll also okay so i didn't press enter and it automatically has uh, started doing the uh, search and you can see on the left in the middle there is a lot of search results and then on the right hand side it has given me some of the description from the auto copilot let me also add a link which is to my own blog which is fahadmirsha.com and then i'll just say add to library note at it there and if i click on the left hand side on my library so there is my document oracle database 2d uh, 2d 2 day dpa and also 
here my link so i have two items in my library and you can already sense that lot of thing i can do here uh, i can upload as much as i want i can upload csvs all the data so it is also doing the rag plus it is combining uh, the web search plus you can have your own community how good is that let's go back to the ask iki and then now uh, earlier we searched on the web let's search with the library one thing which is a bit odd is that it's a checkbox checkbox are no normally multi-selection they should make it radio button which will make it more easier anyway so i'll just again search what is pmon in oracle database let's see i'm not pressing anything so i haven't pressed anything now it says that failed to fetch so i'm not sure why but it has given me some copilot error okay so instead of do that i'll just say i'm going to select the library it is not letting me do that for some reason anyway and let me try again i reloaded the web page because for some reason it was not doing anything so let me ask okay again it has froze i think there is some problem with it i think they should remove that auto loading and that sort of stuff what is dpa and let's select the library then press enter it is failing to fetch it so that is one of the issue with it but anyway let's go with graph neural network and i search it in my library there is nothing in my library okay i'll just ask it what is can you search my library and tell me what is dba oops not doing anything let's reload it and then let's press enter nope nothing is happening with the library maybe library uh, maybe there is high load or something i'm not sure anyway so let's see the pricing so i just clicked on upgrade to iki pro and if i it says from 10 dollar per month in annual plan upgrade here let's see what are the pricing so in the pricing one they have just brought me here they haven't shown me the pricing so it seems still very very early days project is still evolving but a cool project nonetheless and at the top you can see there are various languages like en what is nl Okay, I'm not sure which language is that. Maybe NL stands for uh, Netherlands. So it seems like Dutch to me. Anyway, so if you're a Dutch, and uh, then please confirm if it is a Dutch language. Okay, so I'll just convert it to English. And then there's a lot of other information which you can read through it. The, the graphics are quite good, by the way. But anyway, it will be good to see them improving their tool as it progresses and evolves but a good tool and hopefully it, they will uh, improve it more seems like still in beta let me know your thoughts i will drop the link to it in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching